So here we are back at the house now. I guess I'm gonna cut away to this point when I'm editing. Um, we just have to get back to the final dungeon. In this house, we heard the story about the human who used to live with the monster. The monster tried to take the human back to the human village, but everyone thought he killed the humans. They were all hostile to him. And then, of course, I guess the obvious way to reconcile that instead of trying to forge greater understanding is to kill humans' souls so we can break free from the monster realm, which is under a cave, because humans want some war or something. Anyways... Crisscrossing goes down here. Right, this is exactly where I left off, so let's continue now. Save, of course. And let's explore. This has a very Zelda y feel. It's probably because that looks like a fairy and this looks like a disjointed Triforce, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, also Zelda tries to associate itself with the color gold, and we're being stopped here. Oh, it's that skeleton guy, Sans. Let's see how this develops. He did say he could kill us on the spot earlier. I think it's going to be a boss fight, but it's going to be a boss fight. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the cane. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. Well, I didn't gain any, so yeah. What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Ooh, instead of experience, execution. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your execution points increases. When you have have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. I'm guessing for something a little bit more brutal than what love sounds like. It stands for Level of Violence. Eh, it's a little bit of a weird acronym, but sure, I'll accept it. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can, easily, you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far beginning enough, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. Yeah, yeah, okay, throw in the save thing here. Something called determination. So as long as you hold on. So as long as you. Yeah, so as long as you, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And then he disappears behind a pillar. Ooh, because he's the magical teleporting skeleton. Sweat jackets can do that. Let's go straight into the next room, and I guess we're building up to the final bossy room, fun stuff. Throne room. Now, they keep on saying the king, but we haven't actually met Asgore, though they have said he has a beard. However, though, I'm a little bit suspicious if Asgore... Oh, actually, I want to say first. I'm a little bit suspicious if Asgore is actually who we're building up towards. I've got this feeling. Today is a sign that the game is built up elsewhere, so we'll have to see. Let me look down here. Anything, anything towards the bottom. I was given the hint earlier. Oh, there's coffins. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Rai Rai. It's empty. Bum, bum, bum. Because that's the last place. It's because they need the seven chaos, I mean, seven human souls to try and open up the gateway to let monsters escape from the underground. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Though I wish they had shown you all seven, but I guess school reading limitations let them just show you five of them. Whatever. Moving back on. To the top, to the top. Let's get the fuck out of here. Seems like a good plan if there was any there. Go on to the final boss fight that they're obviously trying to build up here. And what does the sign say again? Throne room, right, obviously. It's got all the flowers. Which we learn about the importance a little bit of from the story there. I did suggest we talk to him, as opposed to just straight up fight him. Now, I'm going to have to do two things. The first thing is, I'm going to say my theory right now, given as someone who is going into this blindly and playing it blindly. First, you know, I'm just saying, the flower motif might be hinting at something, which I'm going to talk about when I... If, if it doesn't happen, I'll say what I'm thinking. If it does happen... Ah, oh, but told, told your soul moment. Now, since we haven't actually met Asgore, I'm going to have to give him a weird voice. Hmm. I'm going to settle for this one, and I apologize again if this takes out people from whatever headcanon voice they have for the characters, just moving from places. Still, though. Dum dee dum. Oh? Is someone there? Just, just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Pacing around the room fun. Nice day today. Huh. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Now, also, don't get me wrong, I do recognize that he's the fatherly figure type person to the motherly type figure of the, at the beginning of the game. I forget her name at the moment. I have her phone number. I should, actually, I should have called Sans and all of them a little bit before this. Oh, well. Obviously, he is kind of a fatherly figure type thing, which actually, I wonder if they have a connection because they look like they're even the same sort of species. But anyways, I digress. You know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. Tutorial there, and as I mentioned, they did have three chairs there, so I feel like something probably happened to their child or something. It's a throne, obviously. I'm gonna call cell phones, so I forget the voices I did. Tutorial, will you call me? No. Okay. Um, what do I want? Since I'm probably... What is a star freight again? I don't remember. Let me look at my items. What is a stained apron? To? Stained apron. Armor defense 11 heals one hit point every turn. Tempting, but I think I'm wearing something that has 14 defense. Alright, so I guess I can put that away. What is a star freight? Star freight heals 14 hit points. We treat made by sparkling stars. Right. Okay. So we'll go into box A, put the stained apron away. I guess I'm gonna take more dog salads. Oh right, the snowman piece, I almost forgot about that. Hmm, they did say take it to the ends of the earth. Is there a place I can put it here? What if I put it in my coffin? That's an idea. I'll take it though. Let's see from there. Item, cell phone, anything else I can think of? I mean, I guess, unfortunately I don't wanna do their voices because it's been a while. Oh, I guess there's no response anyway, so let's move forward. I guess I should save my game in case things go south. I'll save my game first. Good old save, and let's go straight into this. Oh, the music disappeared, but we do get the birds chirping. They have a little, few little music things I'd fix if I was the developer, but that's okay. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. The queen's throne, or just a previous throne? Oh, there's another safe thing right here. Well, okay, then. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. 
something that needs to happen, something that they don't want to do. Though I don't think then just kill people and then eventually it might be, well, well I'm going to try to go pacifist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. I will say this, the way they keep on throwing save files, that actually reminds me how they do the, like, the nine save files at the very end of Silent Hill 2, which I you know is kind of a weird comparison, but that's what I thought of, so I'm just going to throw that thought out there. Going for a 3D effect type thing, kind of looks like it. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue go back. We're going on. See what we get here. I see. This is it. Then. Final boss plan. Ready. Okay. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination, obviously. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, they got rid of my mercy option. Asgore attacks, and of course they have a color background for this fight, even though he still has colors. So let's see, Asgore. I guess I'll check. Asgore attack. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass kicked if I fight him. Hey, it's similar to that one attack. I don't how to dodge that. So that's good. Asgore talk. You quickly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Talk. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight. His breathing gets funny for a moment. I took a little bit more damage than I would have liked there. I guess... Well, I guess I'll take Dog Salad. Oh, it's a full Dog Salad in this case. Back turn, though. Oh. Oh. That was a pretty extreme attack. Act, let's talk. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection slashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack drops. Asgore's defense drops. Oh, I'm in the wrong place for this. Oh, it's actually really easy to dodge. Except that one, which came from there. Talk. Seems talking won't do any more good. This is gonna have to survive. I'm not great at bullet hell, so. Going from there. Seems like talking won't do any more good. Took one thing of damage there. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any way to get to any mercy options, but still no. Check. Asgore. Fun fun. Bright blue, green, orange. Because it's the moving thing. I guess I will. Oh, do I still have my goddamn instant noodles? Well, give me a second then. They're better dry. Your hit points was maxed out. What? That was very different than how I did last time. I am terrible at bullet hell, so this is gonna be great. Act. Still gonna try to talk to him. I'm not him. Hmm. Still got a conversation. I mean, I'm not gonna attack him. So maybe I have to beat him down to a certain point given that I also am at level 1 with nothing, so... Let's see... They did say, there was the hand at the beginning of the game that for some enemies to make them give up, you have to fight them to a certain point, so I think I'm gonna do that. I mean, fighting him isn't the same as... Let's keep on moving and that won't hurt me. That's the whole thing about the attack. I didn't realize because it was orange, but I should have. Like as I'm completely unused to the combat system, so yeah. I... Took 
a lot of damage there, but that's okay. I guess I'll get burnt pan. You equip the burnt. I didn't mean equip. I got killed. Well, maybe I can see if this leads to an ending. It's not a game. Oh, it just leads to a game over. I thought it might lead to an ending. Okay, whatever. Right, right. Stay determined. So it is just a boss fight. Yeah, I thought maybe it'd lead to another ending if I did get defeated. But guess not. At least we can get back to it. Ready? Yeah, pretty much. It's okay though. Skips the dialogue as the game does. Except my mercy option, I'm going to assume I have to fight right now. I will talk to him first though. Tell us where they killed you once before. He nods sadly. Oh. Well, I guess he knows he killed me once. Maybe losing is how I'm supposed to win this. As odd as that might be. Tell Oscar that you don't want to fight him. His breath gets funny for a moment. I did, I did terrible with that blow. <laughs> That's okay. That attack I need to go the better at. So talk. He firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack and defense drops. I'll do one more. It seems like talking won't do any more good. Okay, now I will eat some noodles. Better try. Uh, that actually worked out better than I expected. Now, fight. Because that's all I really can do. Fine, dodging things is. Th this attack is actually super easy. At least so far. I need to stop doing like a rhythm game this time of day. Hmm. I'm terrible to see bullet hells will shine something there. Let's keep moving, and I'll be fine. Alright, so. He's probably gonna get some more attacks when he gets a little bit, you know, closer to death. I took two hits from that. That was bad of me. I guess I lead a star freight. You drink into the star freight, you recover 14 hit points. Okay, not heal again, attack as for. Okay. Dodge that. The combat in this game is pretty easy even on level 1 though. Like I say pretty easily, I said I'm gonna lose, but it's the final boss fight and doing more damage than I thought I would, to be honest. Ooh, stop, stop. Okay. Easy. I like his little uh what is it? Like Trident's changing color there. like a third of health, which isn't bad for us being holy. They've switched up the patterns so that they move now. That's still pretty easy. Yeah, the first one completely. That's okay. Stop eating. I should probably think about eating something. But I'll try attacking one more time. Good thing that ended right then. Now we got him to half him. Yep, his attacks are getting much faster, that's part of the fun. That one was the first one that actually hit me. Now I need to heal. Please give me something, actually, not eat the burger. Eat the glamour burger. Your hit points is maxed out, but it was close. Yep, he's getting a lot more extreme. That was actually a bit easier for me to dodge than that. Because he's on half health, he's attacking him more extreme. Of course, that's how boss fights work. They amp their patterns when you start getting their patterns down. Oh yeah, this is getting a lot more extreme. Now it's I'm having a hard time actually dodging it.
One hit point! Close. <laughs> Hopefully this goddamn dog salad helps. I did better than nothing. Oh, fried tennis ball. Yay. No. He's getting closer. And I got killed because of that goddamn attack, which I'm terrible at. It's okay! At least I can tell him I died twice. Maybe dying is the method to make him realize he's gonna kill me. I wasn't trying to kill him anyway, so you know what? Maybe death is the best answer. They usually have an orthodox way is ready. I mean, he's already killed me twice. Evidently, he doesn't actually want to kill me, and they can't actually he knows that he's killed me twice. Mm hmm. Act talk. You tell Asper that he's killed you twice before. Not sadly. Maybe he'll eventually be able to admit his feelings and not wanting to kill me if I keep on dying. But hey, I'll try my. I'm not gonna give up either. I'm just gonna try my best. How did the attack I'm terrible against? I'm just. I don't know why I'm so bad at that. <laughs> friendly Tazbor is stopped by you. Reflection flash in his eyes, Asper's attack dropped, Asper's defense drops. I'll attack him once. Just move there. I have to unfortunately have to redo his health bar fun. Alright. Asgore. Time for the pretty easy version of the bullet hell attack. And let's see, we, 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 we can chip off some health. Let's see if we can do this one. Okay. Nah, I didn't do it okay at all. Easier to do like I just did there. I lead instant noodles, and that's great. Still, God damn this attack, I hate it. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. It's because it moves up slightly, that's why I keep on getting thrown off. I just noticed it right then. If he kills me three times, though. Three or third times the charm, as they sometimes say. Alright. Still gonna chip off his health in case I have to give him mercy after he's almost dead. Outside of that two attacks, I'm doing pretty okay. For being somebody that didn't play any of the combat in the game until this point, really, fully. Ah! Also being terrible at bullet hells. Oh, that was a full heal. That's good. This is the other attack I'm kind of bad at, but a little bit better than usual. But didn't get hit twice. Close to his half health. And now we're at half health, so things are about to get a lot more extreme. Now we're past half health. Things, you have to get a lot more hellish here. On the bright side, he seems to start losing more health when he gets more damage, and I definitely have noticed that. Like, for some reason, my attack starts to get more. Which means I also shouldn't push him to the edge, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Dodge into the sides, I should have thought of it, but I didn't just have it right then. 
I think I'm gonna get killed here. Yep. Yeah, or maybe not, because there's this attack. Getting closer to that point. Just all moving. It's so close, I need to start talking to him again soon. Okay, now I eat dog salad. That was a full heal. That's happy. Not act, I'm gonna tar uh, start talking to him after this attack. Or should I risk one more? I'm going to attack him one more time, but not go for all max out. No, I didn't mean... Okay, you know what? You're at the edge. This is actually perfect. Ah. Uh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. Okay, so you know what? I said this at the beginning. Toriel had three seats. Two big seats and a tiny seat. I'm guessing that Toriel was his wife. They had a kid, and their kid died. So since he looks like Toriel and looks like the same species, and again, I even mentioned this back in Toriel's place, it looked like there used to be three family members, and a missing picture frame, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the day after my son died. I even said that she was, that her son probably died there in the game still, though. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity. And I let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But... I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has come on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Now I've got the mercy option. Of course, I'm gonna skip mercy. We're going kindly this route. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human. I promise you. For as long as you remain here, I have a really bad feeling about what's about to happen. I just played too many fake outs. My wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. Yeah, there's, if you didn't figure it out by this point, there, there's your big hint, because that's exactly what I said earlier. I think I know what's about to happen, though. We would be like, like, like a family. Yep, that's about what I expected. Not exactly, but something like that. Yep. It's about what I expected, Flowey. The fact that there was flowers everywhere and Flowey's the first character you meet and we haven't seen Flowey since forever ago was definitely suggesting that Flowey was going to show up again. It's not very surprising. Flowey was obviously the main antagonist all along. It was, uh, without a doubt, Flowey was the bitterest of all the characters we've run into. Most of the characters have a good side. Flowey has not shown a good side at all. So, But anyways, going from there... Idiot! You haven't learned a thing!
brain. In this world, it's kill or be killed. And then the game closes. Interesting. Now, being a person who's designed some metagames myself, I'm guessing the moment I open it up, something's going to happen. So let's get ready for that. Ah, let me adjust things so I can be able to see the chat when I relaunch it. Okay. Undertale. And long ago, two races rule over the Earth, humans and monsters. It looks a little bit different, though. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. The game's name is also going crazy right now, so that's fun. Flowey. Fun stuff. My world. Sure, continue. Now then. Going up. Guessing the save file will say something. Rai Rai. The end. But can't save. File erased. Fun, fun. Howdy. It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gone past him. But now, with your help, he's dead! And I've got the human soul! Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have souls inside me again. Mm, I can feel them wriggling. Ah, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God, and then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world! <laughs> Forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. Tell so you and watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> You really are an idiot. Yeah, yeah. It does have its earthbound influence to 7 Giga Sun. Skewfy is probably a good idea. Still, though, rolls as it goes as Flowey does its thing. Color. That's interesting. Because it's in full color, they have to subscribe pretty well. They probably got out of the way of this. Oh, I've got four of stuff too. Oh. Gonna be terribly. Yeah, if I'm terrible at bullet hell, so I'm gonna be terrible at this. Like, there's no even good way to just hell in the face there. And, yeah, that was about expected. Well, this is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Of course! That was a lot of haws. I laughed too once, it was terrible. He he he. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied while Steam Community is playing? Maybe, I don't know. Killing you only one time. 
This is obvious. I should get Flowey to Flowey points because that's obviously Flowey talking. Deal with spinning knives. It's okay. Knives are fun to spin. Act. You called for help. Unfortunately, my health is terrible. That's okay. Oh, oh a lot of band aids. It's obvious I'm still receiving some help, so yeah, I'm also slowed down. I do like the Photoshop as graphics and everything. Warning orange heart fun. Do I touch that? And now hand fun. You called for help. More things to get me health back. I didn't get all my health back. It's gonna be difficult. Just to figuring it out. File two loaded. File two save. File two save. No, I don't actually have a file two, do I? Oh, it's just resetting for the re- Oh, it's because he keeps on loading me back there. Warning, blue hard fun. Oh, it's up here, because we're going through all the different colors. Uh oh. Uh oh. Call for help. as much health back as I can, because I'm going to need it for all the stuff, obviously, coming up, so unfortunately I'm be behind on health, but yeah, I... it's okay. Nuclear <laughs> bombing time. Fight. Oh, probably don't want to get eaten by the Venus flytrap. Or nuke dog. Definitely increasing the new note. Staying up was an obvious idea, though. Guess we're going to purple level. Oh boy. Trapped or slaughtered, death, ruin, oh no, nightmare, terror. And it reminds me of a word a game I played previously. Unfortunately, it does also mean that the thing which I need to click is gonna pop up like that. Actually, called for his help. Alright. Love, relief, dream, relief, hope. Freedom, dreams, yeah, you got enough health back though. Still though, back to this, he did the save file thing, so he couldn't get loaded back from where he was. Yeah. Ah, mixing up the attacks a little bit nicely there. Let me back to the save files, I can't really do much. And now, green heart fun. Oh boy! It makes me think of Mr. Game and Watch. I like how the music changes to all the different mini games, though. Obviously, we see Act there, Call for Help. Rain down health on me, please. Okay. More health than usual, so that's good. Yeah, I'm terrible about the attack fight. 
Oh boy, that helps. But the thing is, if we take care of all the colors, maybe we'll be okay. I got more health than usual, so that's good. Yeah, well, hard to go, go. Oh no, gun targeting. Let's wait for him to shoot, uh, the thing. Yep, act, call for help. This one's actually easier to dodge than most of the mega dudes right there. Fortunately, now I have to aim for them for it to heal me. I didn't get much health back, this is bad. Oh. Yellow heart? Oh, all seven hearts. Well, then all the human souls come together, because seven chaos hearts all come Oh, giving me more health there. Because I survived, and all the hearts of the humans that died previously are here to help me here, so... Yeah, I get it. Now then. Bali's defense dropped to zero. Fortune terrible at bullet hells. Fight. 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 Fortune needs more health. I'm terrible at this. Fight. Stop using that attack! The one I'm easily the worst against. Fight. 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 I wish he'd start using a different attack, this is the one I'm the worst against by far. Oh, there you go, I'm not going to get But it's not really attack, it's going a lot more unfair, because he realizes the defense is slow, and the forwards are my defense. That... Actually, no, I dodged that, but yeah. I Stuff. It's basically just a, an endurance bullet help. Make sure you pick the three that is will probably need it. Pick the fight button, hope. All the fun stuff. That's okay. Grab that. Taken care of here. So fun. No! No! This can't be happening! You. You. Oh, troll face. <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> oh. Golly, that's right. You're worthless and friends. Yep. I can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. Right there. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, <laughs> what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die! I guess I did. I was maybe it's the position from the beginning, and yeah. Oh, they gave me. What? How'd you. Well, I'll just. I'm guessing now his attacks heal me. Uh, where are my powers? Ah, from the hard stuff. The, the souls! What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're not supposed to! You're supposed to obey me! 
Stop! Stop it! Stop! But I'll be a fool in mercy. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No! Sparing me won't change anything! Killing me is the only way to end this! If you let me live, I'll come back! I'll kill you! I'll kill everyone! I'll kill everyone you love! Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. Now kill him! <laughs> I can't understand! I just can't understand! Flowey ran away. And I kind of got the impression Flowey couldn't actually run. I don't want to know why now. Now go up here. And into the gate. An Undertale by Toby Fox. And those people. These people helped out too. Look at those people. Yes. I know there's more, but still though. Rain, rain.